Theme 4 in Grisp uh, is all about adding value. So we know that uh, rice, of course, has a certain value, but it can be increased, uh, not just by growing more rice for a farmer, and therefore more value, but also improving the quality, reducing post-harvest losses, or through better post-harvest technologies, improve the quality of the rice through the marketability and the market price that the farmer can fetch for that. But we also look at uh, more breakthrough solutions. How can we introduce new quality traits uh, into the grain? Or how can we use byproducts from rice? We have a lot of straw and rice husks uh, that also could be utilized for other purposes uh, if we have the technologies for this and to add through that not only additional income to farmers or for farmers, but also in some cases uh, uh, also uh, help uh, with solving another uh, set of important environmental or development goals, such as renewable energy production, for example, from biomass uh, produced in rice fields. So one of the examples uh, that I wish to cite where I think we've made a big breakthrough in 2011 is uh, the understanding of the genetic controls of how starch granules or starch crystals uh, in the rice grain are being formed, uh, what are key uh, quantitative trait loci that are responsible for that. Uh, so we've discovered five of those and we found that if those are present in a uh, rice variety or if we move them together into a rice variety and most of the time, uh, essentially, this variety has extremely low levels of chalk. Now, chalk is uh, what looks like white stuff when you look at the rice grain. We want the rice grain, or most consumers want rice grains to be translucent. And uh, if you have too much chalk, uh, then it essentially does two things. It uh, reduces the, the price of that rice, so the net income for the farmer. And it often also leads to more broken rice, so it's also bad for the miller. So chalk-free rice uh, and the genetic discoveries that we have made in, the, in 2011 for this have a lot of prospect now to be moved into the breeding of rice varieties. And that is also very important uh, with regard to climate change because we know that um, under increasing temperatures uh, the amount of chalk in rice grain is also increasing. So we're trying to address two problems. One is more value for the farmer and better quality rice for the consumer and at the same time also making rice more resistant, resilient to increased temperatures.